You are talented. <laughs> so where are you at with the drop and recall? Uh, taking three steps instead of dropping immediately. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Let's let's see how she does and go from there. Okay. Okay, this is a drop on recall. Are you ready? ready. Call your dog. <laughs> Down your dog. Oh, never mind. <laughs> is he going to pee on it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> Sorry, she. Okay. <laughs> 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 now that was funny. Okay, mom. I know what we're doing. Here, toss it. Okay, Do, will she stay or not? Yeah. Okay. Okay, wait. Now return to her and feed her. Why should we? Why should we reward her for what we know she's gonna almost do? Right. Good. Feed. Okay. Tell her sit and walk away. Okay, don't dig in your bait bag when you're right beside your dog. Dig in your bait bag as you're walking away from your dog. That way you're not fidgeting. Okay, call your dog. Yeah, your dog. Okay, return to your dog. So we're gonna try a little experiment here. Okay, bring your dog back. How big, how big is your chunks of food? Do you have anything bigger? Okay, that'll work. Sorry. Do me a favor, don't put him in a sit. Take a piece of food, show it to him, toss it behind you. Okay, come come this way. Okay, turn. Okay, on his way to you, say down and toss a piece of food at him. Now, wait. Karma, down. Down. Toss it at him, toss. Good, free him. Okay. Good, return to him. So when you when you toss the food, I want you to toss it and say free as you go to him. Okay. Yeah, toss it out. I don't want to ruin the sit. Okay, call. Down. Run forward, toss. Good job. Go behind him. Free him. Okay. So, when you're doing this, I never want you to free him and him come to you. I want you to return to him and go backwards the way he came. Not working on finishes. Next time, just turn to the right. Okay. Okay, leave him again. Um, yes. So. Okay, call. Down. Down. Okay, go to him. Toss food at him. Good job. Okay. So do me a favor. Put it, return to him. Put him in a sit. We're going to put the piece of food on the ground, kind of like we did with this young lady's dog. Okay, go halfway, drop, put a piece of food down. Tell them to sit when you do, sit. <laughs> sit. sit. Okay. When he gets to the food, then say down, okay? Down. Again, down. Oh, go feed him, go feed him, go, 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 go. Good job, feed him another one, feed him another one. Is that the first time he did no three steps? Nope. <laughs> okay, well today? Huh? Okay, go put him back. Free. Okay, leave him again. Okay, you know you're walking away at an angle, right? Oh, you're using that. Never mind. Good thinking. <laughs> okay. Call? Damn. Good job. Okay, go put him back free. Good. Now, bring him back. We're going to trick him. Bring him back. You're gonna walk by that spot and you're gonna act like you put a piece of food down. Okay, you can even tap it once. Okay.
Tom. Damn. Oh. Yo. <laughs> Good. Don't do it again. I think you got the idea. What else you want to do? Free. This one, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Good job. Way to go. Yeah, Siberians are smart. Must be a man. I got you to smile. Look, she's smiling. Like a little hop in the front legs. Yeah. Alright, kiddo, what are we doing? Healing. Alright. I like when she goes, healing. <laughs> uh, really? I got it to heal to the dog again. Are you leaving? Okay. Bloody hell. Okay. Um, what in the healing do we need to work on? Uh, she's a sniffer. Everything's sniff. Okay. And doesn't keep the tension in the ring. So, is it in, so you think it's engagement or healing? Both. <laughs> okay. Like, what is she doing right now? So one of the habits, you guys, I want you to really get in the habit of. So, training starts the moment the dog comes out of the crate. Does the training start when you get to the training field? Nope. The moment the dog comes out of the tra crate, you're, you're training. So, you get in the habit, even especially when you're at a show. Dog comes out, you already have food. You're like, right, boom, the dog comes out, you're power walking, you're, you're feeding, you're, you're the, when you're walking the dog out to go potty, you've got food, you're already engaging the whole time. The dog comes out with enthusiasm, ready to work every time. Not, okay, let's wait, okay? Do a little engaging. Yes. Good. Yes, good job. Good. Can somebody, uh, can somebody come hold their dog for a minute? Okay, so we're, we're gonna rush your training a little bit only because it's the only day I get, get you guys. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show her a little concept. I'm gonna be your dog, okay? So she's gonna walk back, she's feeding. Okay, walk back, act like you're feeding. Okay, the dog's excited, right? Now I'm going that way, right? I want you to turn and be on this side and start walking forward now. See that? Okay, so what she's going to do is she's going to take the drive that she has with the dog in front of her and she's going to turn it right into a little heel. However, when you turn, I want your elbow to go out and your hand go right above the dog's head. In a little bit, probably right about there, okay? So you go, we'll do it again. You're feeding, you're feeding, feeding, feeding. Now turn, yes, and walk. Just like that. Got it? Okay, but don't make that turn until she is really excited, okay? If she's not excited, then don't make the turn. I think she's going to be excited. Let go, please. Thank you. Feed. You're going to run out of uh, space there, kiddo. Good. Okay, now back up this way so we have more room. Back up. Keep backing up. You got back up. Good, good, good. Now turn and walk. Walk, 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 walk. And freer. Good. Was that better? Walk back. Come on. Back, 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 back. Turn. Heel. Look at that, and freer. Good, walk back. Go, 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 don't worry about her. There you go, she'll catch up to you. She's a working dog. Good, and turn, and heel, 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 and freer, good. Does that make sense now? Yeah. Okay, let's do that a couple more times. Oh, keep walking back, you talk to her. Good, don't tell her that you have to reload. <laughs> there you go. Uh-oh. Good, and turn, walk. Good, keep walking. Interesting. So, you guys notice what's happening here? When the dog eats, the dog stops. Dog eats and stops. Eats and stops. I don't think the dog's used to eating and walking at the same time. So this may take some work. Um, a couple ideas come to mind. You guys ever know what a licky stick is for dog training? I got one. You got a licky stick? Does it like it? Kind of. Kind of? Okay. Kind of. So a licky stick looks like a roll-on deodorant. Okay? It's, they're different flavors. When the dog licks it, flavor comes out. It's really handy for not dropping your treats, and the dog can sit there and lick it. That works kind of well. Okay, come back. So the idea we're going to do here, instead of her feeding the dog while the dog's walking, she's going to heal a little bit. When I tell her to free, then she's going to feed. She's only going to feed on the free. Okay? So let's make our goal to heal from here to that chair. Okay? Yep, I'm going to start backwards. Good, good, good. And go. We'll keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. And freer. All right, throw a party. Good job. Good. Turn and go into it again. Right now, go. Good. Right, right turn, right turn, right turn. 
Don't feed her. Keep walking. 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 And free her. Wow, that was really nice. Good job. Do you feel more success? Do you know why she's doing way better? You're way more animated than I think you usually are. You're probably usually okay. I'm gonna go in the ring. I'm gonna heal my dog. The fact that when you came out, you kind of had that attitude, told me that you've probably been over. You've over I'm been cool training. I'm rally and excellent two times, the last two times. Just for, it was so bad that I. I just really finished. dislike rally. I got to be honest. <laughs> I really dislike rally. It teaches sloppy obedience, and if you do I'm rally, I'm sorry. Bad. But it really gets in the habit. And, and the reason why they did it, so it brings more people into sport. However, if for two or three years you do sloppy obedience and then one day now you're going to do good obedience. However, you can do good obedience in the rally. You don't have to do sloppy obedience. But you just need to make sure that your dog is ready for a CD before you do rally. And then it's really easy. So, What else do you want to work on or is that it? Um, the, the thing I did with the, because you're so big, to come all the way around in front of me like that, straight without... Oh, the fronts? Yeah, the fronts. Okay, let's see you do it. You got three examples. Let's see you do it. Um, you're gonna have to remind me. What did we start? They started over there. It, um, the food out. You toss the food out, and then you and stand. Leash off because she will stop if I. If That's she fine. Steps on it. Okay. She may bother. Okay. So there you go. Okay, put your hands straight out. Straight out. Front. Oh, good job. Bring your hands in. Right to your stomach. Right to your stomach. Okay, wait, wait, bring it down a little lower. L no, not away from you, lower. Look good, a little higher. Right there, that's where you want your hands. Oh, good feet are good. So try to get in the habit of not feeding away from your away from your target area. If your feet away from your target area, the dog's not gonna get close, okay? Free her and go backwards. Okay. No, you go backwards, kiddo. Backwards. backwards, yep. And just throw it out. So next time that she, okay. Like, it's been a while since you guys did it, so I'm like, Whoa. It's okay, it's okay, okay? So you, when she's in the sit, when you say free, walk backwards okay. and feed her. Okay, toss it out that way. Okay, hands out. Nice, bring it in, bring it in, hands in, hands in. Okay, wait. Okay, bring it. Oh, feed her for that, that was good. good and now free and walk backwards. Okay. Feed her, good, feed, feed. Good, good, toss it out again. <laughs> we were ready. ready. It's okay. <laughs> she didn't go for the good I know she didn't give me Front. Front. Hands out. Uh, so she got a little bit too ambitious too soon. Good. And free. Okay, this time come out this way with the food. Will she oh, figure she's it? She's a hound, but she's not. <laughs> Ziba. Look. Ziba. Front. Oh, nice. Good job. Good. Oh, way better. Nicely done. I'd probably do it just one more time and then call it good. We don't overdo it with her. See the front? Oh, that was really good. Free, okay. okay. I'd probably stop it. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. you teach it? Let's start with that. Um, just praise because the ear pinch never worked on this one. Okay, so has anybody ever taught you guys how to do the correct hold without the ear pinch? The, the positive way? The positive way takes a long time. This is why people don't like to do it a lot of times. So, give you a quick overview. The ear pinch is basically works on the principle as a dog learning how to relieve stress. So, um, there's still actually like CCI still uses ear pinches. A lot of hunting dog people use ear pinches. 
Um, and basically what you do is you apply pressure to the ear, causes pain. You put the dumbbell in the dog's mouth, you release the pain. You do that enough time, now what's the dog learning? The dog's learning if there's, uh, if there's pain, the way to relieve the pain with the ear pinch is to hold the dumbbell. Well then it's kind of counterintuitive. Unless you have this extremely high drive dog and a hard dog, what happens when you throw the dumbbell out? The dog's gonna say, wait a minute, that thing hurts. Why would I ever want to bring that to the front with you? Right. Okay, so this is the, we call it conflict. This is a conflict that we kind of build, okay? Um, the fact is you've tried the ear pinch with her, right? Okay, have you tried the ear pinch with her with the dumbbell? Yeah. Okay, so here's the problem. So now what does the dumbbell represent already? The dum dumbbell now represents a ear pinch. I've got a there. Let's use the, have you, wait, have you used the dowel with the ear pinch? No. Let's use the dowel. Okay. Smart woman. That is really long, but yeah. we'll start with yeah. that. So you, you the one that just fits between your legs and your knees? No, I mean, um, I mean, this is gonna work. This is kind of big though, but yeah. I, I have one that's about half that size, and there's, I put little ropes on each end of it. Right. Um, just another training op um, option. Okay, I'll cut it it's all good. <laughs> so you have a PVC, so you've done this before, right? Okay, show, tell me what you've done. Um, get the dog to take it. And then I've rewarded once they were taking it okay. solidly. Once they were reaching to take it themselves, then I would work on the hold. And that's where we're stuck. I can't okay. get her to hold. Show me where you're at with it. Okay. So there's a couple things I want to do differently. One, do you see the dog jumping for it? Right. Okay. So if the dog jumps for it, if she holds it tightly and the dog jumps, the dog's going to slide their teeth off it. The dog isn't willingly wanting to move their mouth forward to it. Okay. So I imagine if you hold it in front of her, she's just gonna start chewing on it, right? Probably. Okay, so we have to teach the dog control. Just because they see the dumbbell doesn't mean they need to start chewing on it. Okay, so bring it in front of you and tell her to leave, or whatever, you're out. 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 Okay, do me a favor, take it away. What is your leave a command or out command? Give. Okay, so bring it out and calmly say give. Give, that's good, give. take it away. Nope, I don't. She should not go for it until oh. you tell her to. Oh, okay. Okay, because why is this so important? You get like 10,000 points to figure this out. When you throw it, they just go. Take Smart off woman, after. yes, she got it. If the dog thinks anytime I see it, I can go take it, then when you throw it out, now what is the dog doing? Okay. Um, is it a dowel or is it a PVC? Um, can you grab it? I just want to show it to him, but um, can you hold the leash for a minute, please? Okay. Put a little backward pressure, just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Bring it out. Tell it. Don't don't get close to her. Okay. Tell leave it or uh, out. Whatever you it is. You want me to, to tell her to take it? No, I don't want her to grab it prematurely. Okay. I just want to just take it closer to her and tell her out or drop oh, it. What? Or what oh, no. It. What? Yeah. Leave it. Command. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And then take it away and feed her for that. Okay, bring it out and say give. Ah, 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 ah. Good. Again. Give. Ah. Nope. Okay, again. Yep. Good. Okay, take okay. One more time. Yep. Feed. Good. So she's still jumping for it, but she's not trying to put her mouth on, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I think that's gonna be too big for this dog. Is it? Um, we'll try it in a minute, but that, the circumference looks kind of big. Okay. 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 Now, you're going to take and place it right in front of her mouth, or right kind of low, okay, and you're going to ask her whatever her take a command is, okay? Take it. Wait. Good. Out. So, here's the thing. Did she get the out command or did the dog out it on its own? So, by her out, the dog outing on its own and got reward, now what is the dog choosing to do? Because in, it's counterintuitive in its mind. What has to go in the dog's mouth if, if the dumbbell or the pipe's in the way? Can't Food can't go in, right? So now the dog thinks, well, the sooner I spit out the pipe, the sooner I can put food in my mouth. Does that make sense? Okay. Try it again. Okay, so this time, I don't want you, you're going to, you're not, if she lets go, don't move the pipe. Just leave it right there and just wait, okay? Okay. Uh, nope. Out. Good. Now feed her. 
Was that a second longer than the first time? <laughs> okay, so the idea is if you don't give the out command, there is no reward. Okay. okay? No, wait, wait. No, no, out, out. Okay, this a couple. Of, don't hold it with both hands. Only hold it with one hand. Okay. the uh, The other problem is, you have forced her to hold it. You've pl you've placed your hand on top of her mouth and on the bottom of her mouth, and you've made her hold it. So, you've really set yourself back a little bit. So, we're gonna try a, a little bit different. This time, your hand one, one your hand. right hand is gonna go underneath her mouth, not holding your mouth on it. You're just gonna support, almost like a basically a chin rest. Okay. Okay, put your hand underneath the mouth first. No, hand underneath. Okay. Okay, right. Oh. Okay. So, do you notice she puts her hand down there? What's the dog do? The dog moves away. So, in order for her to use this concept, she first needs to teach the dog a chin rest of teaching the dog it's okay for her hand to go underneath her without being, without moving back. Okay. So, I hate to say it, you're not going to get it today. Okay. Um, do me a favor. Come stand behind her for a minute. Okay. Yeah, we're going to push it just a little bit, okay? Take your hand, put it underneath her mouth. Put a little bit of pressure on the leash, just a little bit. Just a little bit, good. And, okay, and take it away and feed her. Okay. That's fine. That, good idea. Take your hand underneath the mouth. And feed. Good. Be slow at it. Wait. Wait. Don't, 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 don't try to force. Just... Okay. Wait, put your hand, leave it right there, leave it right there, leave it. Leave it right there, bring it a little closer to her, a little closer to her. Almost put, uh, just bring it up a little bit, touch. Feed, oh, hold it. Very good, we almost, we almost got it. Good, I would have, yes, feed her. I would have thrown her party for the very first one. Okay, easy. Now she's doing the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I, I don't want to. Can she lure with one hand so the dog put just just put a piece of food there as soon as he rested on it being? Yes. For a few times? That's a really good call. Like that, like that. Yes. The the thing that she got to make sure she's not gonna it, she doesn't get in trouble with is is a dog just. Is the dog really understanding to place it there, or is it just waiting for food? Well, if you decrease, you know, don't stay there too long, but no, that's the, I, that's the a very good idea. Yeah. Yes, Jennifer. I was going to say that she's working more than the dog is, so she's putting her hand under the chin instead of having the dog put the head. Yeah, that's hand. why I said put the food over here, so she moves the dog. The dog moves her head towards. Okay, the but hand. wait. So another mistake you just did is what food did you grab? The hand, the you. Put no, you grab the food with the resting hand, ah. and then you traded it. So now the resting hand smells like residual food, right? Mm -hmm. Plus the dog saw you grab food. So present your hand. Okay, leave it right there. Now put the other food behind it. There. Okay. When you put it behind it, put it right where the pinky is. Good. But you see, this is a whole different lesson besides the the dumbbell. So. You're not going to solve the dumbbell today. But I think the biggest thing is you need to stop rewarding it when the dog chooses it out. In your mind, you're just having the dog put its mouth on it, okay, which is a good start. But now the dog, you need to real, the dog needs to understand there's no reward unless the out comes. But by putting your hand underneath the mouth, you're getting rid of, rid of holding the mouth on it because then you put it in the mouth and you just apply a little bit of upward pressure. It's the difference between grabbing the dog's muzzle and just the, and the chin rest. Yeah, it wasn't working. Wasn't working. Yes. Okay. Anything else you want to work on? No. That's it. Yeah. Okay. You know, anytime you put your hand on the top of the dog's nose, they tend to move away. Anyway, Good call. All groomers know this. You know, so as soon as they feel pressure right along the top of their nose, they want to move away. I think you're up. Does anybody have a larger dumbbell? Mm. A larger dumbbell? Yeah. Than what Sarah's I got some small ones. I got this one. No. What in the dumbbell are you wanting to work on? The pick up, no, the hold, or the go out? See, I, I was just going to see where, where you thought I might need to work on. Um, she had her silicone one, which was yeah, a little bigger. That wasn't a dumbbell. No. I'll try that. that. It's beat up. So, well, she's getting her dog out. So, we're talking about dumbbells. Um, 
with Zito, I taught a force hold. I'll be honest. I tried the positive motivation, but his his mind is just so wired that every time he got something in his mind, in his back teeth, he just wants to grind. And I don't know if you guys realize that anytime the dumbbell, anytime anything hard gets in the back teeth, what does it automatically encourage the dog to do? Chew. To chew, because that's it, that's what the back teeth are for. They they're for cutting meat. So this is why when you do the dumbbell, you want it right behind the canines. It's more of a, uh, it's more of a stimulating area for the dog to hold it. I did the force retrieve just because my dog is so amped up that I could not get a calm hold. However, I can have him hold a straw. If I hold a straw in front of him, he grips on a straw and holds it. The reason why I use a straw is I want to make sure his mouth is clamped on it. It's really easy for a big circumference for the dog to hold that way because it's so big. I want my make sure the dog understands a muscle memory of holding whatever I ask him to hold. So just a little key note to that. Okay. So I'm going to ask you again. Are you working on the... Well, the, let's, the let's start from the beginning. Let's just start with holding. Here. Okay. Okay. Like, she has a very nice picture. That was a really nice hold. The dog only adjusted its grip twice. It's okay. So she's got her really nice start. However, we're going to adapt it a little bit. So the dog went out enthusiastic. The dog passed the dumbbell a little bit, grabbed it on its way back and chewed twice. Okay. So let's adapt this a little she's bit. Never used, she's, always, she's never used the plastic dumbbell. As a matter of fact, we haven't even done dumbbell work for four years. We've done keys, wallets, uh, da, da, but not a dumbbell. Well, she's doing pretty good. Okay. Wait, no, no. Wait. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Put her in a sit right there. Okay. You come stand. Okay, actually, why don't you put the dumbbell right here? Okay, you stand right over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna forget the go out. We're just gonna work on the pickup in front. Okay, wait. I want uh, I want your hands right to your stomach. I want to show her your focal point. Okay. When you tell her when you're ready, tell her bring. Bring. Take it out. Good. So I'm gonna have her adapt this a little bit. Do you notice the dog outs and then she reaches back? She okay. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna help you with that. Good. So I'm gonna have her release the dog and then reach back. Okay. Put her. Oh, up. I see. All right. So you're gonna free the dog and then you're gonna. Like. Okay. Come a little bit closer. Too far away. Okay. Hands down. Just. Take that move. Ah. Free. Ah. <laughs> You started to. Uh, you still started to kind of turn as you. Oh. Before you told her free. Hey, you really threw her party. I'm throwing. She's a hobgoblin, big time. <laughs> Come here. Pumpkin. 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 So, can I show you something else that's going to help you with your pickup? Yes. So, did we see the dog? What was the attitude towards the dog when you picked up the dumbbell? The dog ran past it, turned around and came back to her, right? Okay, now in retrospect, it's not a huge deal. However, if she ever wants extra points, we want to teach the dog to go out, grab it, and turn around and come back. Never thought of that. Okay, I'm gonna help you with it. So, um, do you see these cones right here? Yes. Okay, you're gonna move the cones against the wall right here. We're gonna move these. Love. Can somebody help her please? Pick up one end, pick up the other end. Where am I putting them? You're gonna put it against the wall right here. Yeah, we'll put one cone against the wall right here. This way? Yep. Okay. Just like that. And then put the other one dog's width. Ah, put the dumbbell by the wall. Right? Read my mind. Oh my God. Now, is she going to have enough room to turn around? She's going to be alright? She's pretty short coupled. Is she going to smack her head up against the wall and pass out? No, she's. Jesus, I sure. Wait, did she sign a waiver? We're good. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. So bring her. You're gonna bring her right here. Now, does she? Do you think she knows where the dumbbell's at? And you can just send her. Exactly where it's at. She's already going for it. Should I go closer? Okay. Uh, no, that's fine. Let's let's start with that. Okay. Good. So now we have a straight grab and a straight return. Good. Not too bad. So one of the things that we get in the habit of a lot of times is we always want to take the dumbbell before we free the dog. Okay? Everybody thinks we need to grab the dumbbell. You know, it's okay just to tell the dog to drop and give the dog a reward. Because Wait, just drop it on the ground? Yeah, Dad. Oh, if, you give, right. if you give the out command, what does it matter? Right. Right? Right. Okay, want to try it again? Here, I'm gonna show you something else this time. When you when you put it down, which way was it facing? When you put the dumbbell down the first time, how was it at? Okay, this it time. Was scoop. Okay, this time I want you to turn it sideways like that. Blind. Blind. She told me no. Okay. Now let's see how the dog picks it up. <laughs> so, take it from and feed. Good. So the idea is, the dog goes in, grabs the dumbbell on the turn. Okay. Instead of necessarily grabbing it, backing up and turning around, the dog grabs it almost on the turn and turns around quicker. And anyways, a couple different ideas. What? Well, she grabbed at the wrong end. Okay, let's do it. Okay. That was one time. Maybe that was. Maybe she won't do it again. Let's try it. Any bet? I don't think she'll do it again. I think she didn't have enough room between the two cones because when she came in, she kind of grabbed it. After this, and she did lost. Here, wide. Let's take Sarah's idea. Widen the cones a little bit at the end there. Push it wider. There you go. Okay, send your dog. Okay, or take it. Okay, take it from her then. Don't worry about it. So if if she does fine by taking it, don't screw it up. I'm just saying. She'll out a tug in an instant, but she's like, wait a minute, I have a dumbbell. Don't you dare let it go. Don't you dare let it go. <laughs> Change your dumbbell. Your not your dumbbell. Your um bag. Off. Not right now, but put it different places. Right. If she's so used to doing fronts and seeing that back on that side, put it on the other side, or put it don't have it at all, put it down. No, I normally don't. I'm only okay. doing this for you. Okay, well, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the first time I've met you, right? right? Okay. What else do you want to work on? Um. What do you, uh, don't look at me. It's I your don't project. Know. Um, don't, don't say it. Don't say it. I guess we should work on this again. Sound like me with healing. Yeah, no. <laughs> There's something, you know, I've been working on this dog by myself for years. So, let's see. Let's see. Did I retain anything from everybody else's standing? I think so. Go set it down on the chair and then grab handfuls as you need it. Stan. Stan. That wasn't too bad. So adapted this time. When you say Stan, go right to her pink collar. So cute. Stan. Oh, better. Yes. Good. Yes. Free? Yes, free. Do it again. Stand. No, oh, that was really good. Yes. Good. Break. Do me a favor. Put your hand right in front of her nose. Don't bring it down until I tell you, okay? Put your food with the hand right in front of her nose right now. Okay? Now bring it underneath her and down. Stand. Right there. Good. What I'm trying to get rid of is the, the, the front feet going back. I just want to get the butt to pop up, okay? So don't push so hard this time. Okay, you got to find... Please. You got to find the pressure it takes for her just to lift her butt up without, without popping up. 
or without moving your front feet. Oh, almost. Good job. Okay, down. Nope, underneath I just looked. There, good. For your, so she should not do sit, stand, sit, stand. She should do sit, stand, release, sit, stand, release. If she does too many sits or stands, let the dog in anticipate right off the bat. Boom, sit, up, down, up. Yep, you got it. You, you've mastered that. Let's not do it anymore. Anything else? Yeah, no, I'm fine, I think. Yeah, no, you're fine. Are you sure? Um, the only thing that really bugs me is when we came here from nose work, now she's doing that. Blame Jennifer. Not my fault. <laughs> oh, was it you left? It's not my fault. Here, somebody else. Kill. Well, you're a judge now, so it's all it's your fault. Okay, mom, best for last. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, I like the same. I like the same thing. Let's get rid of your bait bag on that side because you're gonna do finishes. It's gonna be in the way. It's okay. Way better already. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be you gotta be cute when you're training dogs. Jeez. Ladies. The dog's hanging out and you guys are distracting her with beauty secrets. Poor dog. Job. Okay, now wait. Free him, and then when you free him, feed him, feed him. Okay, feed, feed. Good. And while you're feeding him, reload with the other hand. Nope. Now we dropped our nose. I'm trying to get. We're trying to get rid of the whole crazy nose dropping thing. So, do the behavior. So tell me again. You're gonna do the behavior. Okay. You're gonna free him. While you're freeing, you're gonna see feed him. While you reload, the other hand to the left. So, your right. While you're running out of food in the left, your right hand is going to reach in, reload. Your right hand is going to bring the food over to the left, and then you're going to do another one. I'll walk you through it. So do a, do a finish. You're doing really good. Not too bad. Oh, look at that. Now, free him. Okay, now reload with your right while you keep feeding him with the left. Reload with your right. Let the leash go. Drop the leash, kiddo. Drop the leash. Where is it going to... We're not going to run away. We can't do it. As long as it doesn't pee on me, I don't care. Okay, come on. Come on. We're all dog people. Okay, do a finish. Oh, that was my bad. Okay, feed. Now, free. Feed with the left. Keep feeding. Now, reload from the right to the left. Now, do it again. Did he jump on you and molest you that time? Do it again. Free. Feed. Good. Release. Release. Okay, reload. Do another one. Now, you're dog training. And he didn't quite sit. Yeah, he did. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry about sitting. it. I can't see it. Okay, don't call him. Go away. Go, go, go. Mom, go. Go, go. Hi, go. Hey. No, don't. What? what? Go. Go with her. Go with her. Yeah, but watch, the, but watch the camera. He'll bump my camera. Then again, he's probably going to take a giant crap, isn't he? <laughs> Say his name once. Say his name once. Simon. Now he doesn't Simon. say it. Yeah. <laughs> it was a nice try. <laughs> if the door wasn't shut, would we have to chase him? <laughs> Here. 
Let's work some, on some steps. So, got food? Okay, I want you to have a good amount in your left hand. Sounds like a personal problem. Okay, food in your left. Okay, turn that way towards them. Okay, do a finish. Okay, okay, wait, feed them one. Okay, take your hand straight, straight up, away from them. Now say heel, feed, heel, and feed. Good, take your hand away, heel. Oh, nice, I like this picture. Heel. Oh, free. Free. So if you drop food, release the dog. Tell the dog that's what you meant to do. That way the dog's dropping out of attention on your command. Okay, reload. Because you're almost out of food in that hand, right? No, I'm good. Okay. Your finishes are way better than they were in the first start. Drop your leash for a minute. Or loosen up. There you go. Okay, take your hand away. Say heel. Heel. Feed. Good. Don't bring it up to your boob. Bring it straight up. Okay. Feed. Or you say heel. <laughs> heel. Wait, wait. Don't say heel again. Just wait. Feed. Yeah. Oh, yes. Good job. Feed him. Oh, I would have. Feed him again. Good job. Free. Okay, reload. Okay. Smart lady, do you see what she did with her feet? She, she straightened up her feet. She starts working on her, her body language at the same time she's working on the dogs. Don't be upset. Do you know the dog doesn't know you screwed up? So why tell it? Okay, put your hand right above his head. He, he dropped that one. I'm late. Hey, you're fine. Okay, wait. Leave your hand right there. Leave your hand right there. Drop your leash. Say heel and start walking. Say heel and start walking. Come on, go. Good, 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 good. And free him. Go backwards, free, good. Okay, reload, don't grab that leash, reload. Come on, reload, come on, reload. Reload, feed. Good, reload. Oh wait, keep walking back, reload. Keep, keep walking back, keep walking back. Go toward, turn your, turn your butt towards that door. Go, keep walking backwards, yep. Okay, now turn and you get beside him and walk that way. Go, walk, say heel, heel. Look at that, look at that. And free him. However, find that position that he's not jumping up. Okay, yeah. grab his leash now, because. Okay, find that position where his head's up, but he's not jumping up. But when he offers a posi the 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 not jumping up, then now walk, 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 walk. Free him. Good job. Okay, go back. Try it again. Go that way. You're doing good. Walking backwards or forwards? Walk backwards then. Start with walking back. I'm still throwing food. Good. And go. Bring your hand up higher. Walk. I want you to feed him when he doesn't bounce. Free him. Good job. All right. I'll let you go. Any questions? He's going to be a really nice healing dog. She's going to do really well with him. That's a lot of body to move around. But he turns super tight. Yeah. He did really well. He does the flip finishes. They're amazingly. He literally can turn his head to his butt almost. He's a dumpy dog. Okay, was that everybody? Okay, what time is it? Holy crap. Can Sir? I say, I'm, I'm sorry, and I don't mean to skip out on you, and I appreciate all your help, and you've been wonderful. Well, and you're I, very I, welcome. I admire you. Well, thank you. And, and thank you for being here, and I hope you return, but I do kind of have to go. It's, <laughs> the, the bathroom is that way, though. No, I mean, I'm really <laughs> <have to> go. <laughs>
It's all good. So we probably should call the day. You guys are all kind of tired. I think your dogs are tired. Unless there's anything that is pressing that you guys say, oh man, I just really, yes. So it's a thing that you said to Co last night that really struck me. I don't know if it'll strike anybody else. It was when his dog, when Rocky was barking in the pickup, and he was yelling, Rocky quit. Uh -huh. And then he would, and then he'd bark again. And it was like, Rocky quit. And there's a whole bunch of commands I give commands, different ones all the time. I try not to, but I do it. And so when I'm giving the same command over and over, and it's not working, and you told Cole, stop, tell me. And I thought, hmm, good. Like, like, uh, like my stop barking. Yeah. Oh, if you're not stop in control barking, to make it happen, barking. don't tell them at all. Yeah. yeah. Um, stop yeah, sniffing. So, so what she's referring to, we uh, went out to the park last night. We were doing some dog trainer, and the the guy has a mal that is just off the wall, really nice dog, lots of drive. And three or four times, he kept telling the dog to be quiet. Obviously, the dog wasn't being quiet. Okay. And finally, like she said, I asked him, can you, stop, can you really stop the dog from a distance? Well, his answer was no. Then why keep asking the dog to do it? Because the more times you keep asking the dog to do it and you can't reinforce it, guess what you're doing? You're robbing yourself. Basically, you're reminding the dog that I have no control over you. Uh, people come to me a lot of times with a recall problem with the same issue. Basically, what they do is they take their dog somewhere. They take the dog. They say, oh, I want to go to the park. They let the dog go free at the park. Dog is not re ready to go free at the park. And what do they do? They try to call the dog. Dog doesn't come. What do they start doing? They start chasing the dog. And then now they say chasing the dog, and now the dog's like, oh crap, they're coming after me, I must run faster. Finally they catch the dog, and what do they do? They punish the dog, so now what did the dog just learn? Oh crap, I never want to be caught ever again, because if I get caught ever again, I'm going to get the tar beat out of me. Okay, so the idea is kind of the same way. Don't, reinforce, don't, don't give your dog command unless you can reinforce it. It's one of the biggest issues being in chair I have. And I'll be honest with you, it's one of my probably biggest handicaps is I have to learn how not to uh, put my dog in a situation. I have to outthink my dog. Um, I use the e-collar a lot with my dogs. Um, I use it in a positive way. I try to use it in a positive way um, just because to me it's a, you know, it's a visible leash, but it is a problem that a lot of people have and we don't, a lot of times we don't even think about it. We just, and let, you know, I teach my dog how to be quiet, how to speak and bark on command. However, there's sometimes if, if he is barking in the car and I'm 10, you know, 10 yards away, I maybe tell him hush once hoping to do it, but most likely I don't really care. I just park my vehicle somewhere else where the dog's not gonna bother anybody barking. Okay, any questions guys? When are you coming back? Yeah. 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 Come <laughs> <laughs> well, first digest what we covered and then, and then we can talk about it. So if you guys do have some aid, so it's a really good idea to kind of put together a uh, let, Okay, let me back up a little bit. Let's say I do come again Let's say your dogs are you, you have the same amount of engagement as you did today. Are we really gonna be able to work on healing? No. Are we really gonna be able to work on fronts? So really name of the game even if you guys go to another seminar if you guys come out and your dog's super engaged It's easier to start shaping behaviors if you're just trying to get your dog's nose off the ground you're not really, you know, you're not really ready for more than that. So if I do come back, I really want to challenge you guys. Okay, don't ask me or somebody to come, you know, do another seminar until you guys feel that your dog's drive and your and your engagement is there. That way, you can get ton, ten more, you know, that you can get ton more out of the weekend that you would if the dog, if you're just working on the dog's nose off the ground. Because I want you guys to have as much success and not just, you know, waste your money. Okay, yes. I may be out, but I can look, yes. Yes. Uh, quick question. So as far as practicing goes at home, would you, like, I've always just, like, work on the sit until I like what I see, and then start to be able to lay down. Like, you know, as far as I might work on, the, you know, on, on one command for a week and a half or two or three weeks, and then I move on to the next command and kind of build off of it. Or would you say it's better to, in a day, maybe we'll work on the sit once, we'll work on the stand once, and we'll work on the nails once, uh, the young lady at the rot walk, I'm going to talk about her while she's here, and I'll talk about her while she's here also. Her dog really likes to finish, right? 
Okay, and that that's because she's trying a lot of finishes with the dogs. Not the dog's fault or her fault. She just done so many finishes. So if you do the same thing, if you do weeks of finishes, and then all of a sudden you 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 decide, oh, I'm gonna add a front in there. What do you think the dog is gonna offer you? So maybe break it up. Maybe do finishes in the morning and fronts at the night. Okay, you gotta remember. I, I think there is in a open route. Uh, not open. In a a CD. I think there is five. Is there four finishes or five finish? For no, hold on, let me think. No, no, not halt. So I consider kind of the halt and the finish because it's still positioning beside you. But really positioning is really a, a, a really important, especially when you're doing a lot of healing. Um, every time you have a halt, hold on, do you have a napkin? I have something in my eye. Um, anytime you have a halt, it's basically to me is almost like a finish. So if I'm working on finishes at the same time, I'm kind of working on my halts also because now the dog is beside me, their head is up, and it's basically kind of the same picture. Does that make sense? So if I'm gonna work on finishes or halts, I'm gonna work on that in the morning and then maybe fronts in the afternoon. But, but I, do, I do shaping and some training also when I am watching TV, when I'm you know, just sometimes hanging out. Does that answer your question? Okay. okay. Any other questions, guys? Do what? Hundreds. Hundreds. So I mean, you guys can always you can always email, always call me. I may not get back to you right away. I, I'd love to promise I'll get back to you right away. Uh, but you guys really did good. I think you got some quality dogs. I think you have some quality people to work with. Um, this is not easy. The fact that you're here, the fact that you've you know dedicated the time and you're you're not just you know doing what the neighbor says you should do and what you saw somebody else says you should do, you know, is uh, you know speaks loudly. Remember, don't take. Oh, no problem. I enjoy it. I, I love this. You know, I I work tons of dogs during the week, and I don't even get paid for it. I really only get paid for um, my basic obedience class. Um, I teach a 4-H club and I teach IPO club, and I don't get paid for that. That cost me money, but I do it because I enjoy people, I enjoy animals, and I really enjoy back. You guys don't realize, but you're also giving. You're also helping me. I've always. One of my ambitions in life was to be a motivational speaker. Okay, the more times I can do this, the more opportunities I get to speak, the better I become. Just like working with your dog, practice makes perfect. So you guys are giving me opportunities. So I really appreciate it. Okay, all right. See you guys soon, hopefully. <laughs>